Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Enterprise Search. A key part of this special certification, which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Access and Use Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll cover the basic components of Enterprise Search, Crawler, Index, Query Engine, Human Powered Directories, and Hybrids. Search is the art and science of making content easy to find. Thus, it may be better termed findability, a word recently popularized by Peter Morville in his book Ambient Findability. The art refers to language arts, specifically the leveraging of software that can parse, diagram, and infer meaning from captured content. The art also refers to the development of a user interface that makes the retrieval process intuitive and responsive. The science is library science, including techniques such as meta-tagging, categorization, and taxonomies, all of which have to do with information organization and are key to efficiently getting stuff back out of an information management system once it's been put in. Findability is far more than just typing something into a search box and getting a result. It's also about discovering things about a topic that you didn't necessarily know you were looking for, and thus it includes elements of browsing and discovery as well. Enterprise Search is how your organization helps people seek the information they need from anywhere, in any format, from anywhere inside their company, in databases, document management systems, on paper, wherever. Now, a lot of people think that because the tools for this are so good, they don't have to organize their information at all. I hear it in almost every class I teach. Oh, we'll just use Google on everything and find stuff that way. The problem is that this approach does nothing to minimize the risks associated with losing things, not knowing which of multiple copies are the real ones, and so forth. So as highly efficient and effective as Google and its brethren are, they are not magic bullets to be fired into repositories in the hope they leave order in their wake. The crawler is usually the first major component to make its appearance. A program or script that periodically and methodically roams through your content, or any outside content for that matter, including on the web, it provides up-to-date data to the search engine being used. Other terms for crawler are spider and automatic indexer, and the task boils down to identifying a set of repositories called seeds that need to be crawled, then crawling them to identify all the links they contain, and then adding those linked pages to the list of places to crawl next. Relevant text and metadata are stored along the way to facilitate reuse and to speed subsequent searches. A search engine index is used much as a book or map index is, to tell users where what they seek can be found. Functionally, in our context, it collects, parses, and stores information about the pages the crawler finds so future searches can be performed more quickly. Without one, the search engine would have to search not only for every bit of content that has to do with the particular keyword used, but every other piece of information it has access to as well, just to ensure it doesn't miss anything. Any number of specific disciplines can be used here in order to ensure effectiveness, including computer science, mathematics, informatics, linguistics, and even cognitive psychology, to get inside why people ask what they do and what they might really mean to find. A query engine is the computer program that actually searches documents for a specified word or words and provides a list of documents in which they're found. Structured queries are those using Boolean operators like AND, or, or, and NOT. Unstructured queries are more ambiguous, such as the plain language terms we generally use when we search the web. Query engines typically must be able to handle both. Human power directories are search listings that are compiled by, well, <laughs> human beings. Users can submit short descriptions to the directory of the sites they like, where editors can write them for the sites they review, as well as organize the search results. The search engine then looks for matches only in those descriptions. This can greatly speed the process, 
but the human element can make the results highly subjective until and unless enough people are involved to balance out their perspectives. The example on the screen here is from Mahalo.com, a human-powered search engine. Hybrids, as the term suggests, combines crawler-based results with human-powered listings, thereby providing the best, or maybe the worst if care isn't taken, of both worlds. Here are three examples of popular hybrid engines today. This module has taken us on a tour of the major components of enterprise search technology, which are crawlers, indexes, query engines, human-powered directories, and hybrid directories. Next, you may wish to review the module on the different types of search. The material you have reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of a hundred multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.